Hello, in this video we're going to be removing a serial ATA DVD drive. So the first thing we got to do, just like before in our last video when we removed an IDE drive, we got to get to the back of the computer. On this particular model we do have screws. So all we do, they're Phillips screws so we just use a Phillips head screwdriver. Go ahead, take that one and the bottom one. And that takes care of that. Just like in the previous video, we just pull back and we can take our cover off. Now for this one, we will have to take the front the front facing cover off and on this particular model it's pretty simple all we got to do we can see these tabs here there's three of them we just got to pull up to make sure they're not attached and then there we go now since we did that we can see our DVD drive right here. So the first thing we need to do is we can see we have two screws on the front. We want to take those off. Go ahead and take that one out. And this one. Now, once we have those two screws removed, we can lift up in the back and it kind of has a rotating motion to it. And also, slide up in the front. Now this connector here, this cable, is what's known as a serial ATA cable. In the last video we've seen the big gray ones, the IDE. Here's the other one that's popular today. Well, notice the power, it looks a little bit different too, the power connection. Instead of having the four circles, it has like just a, a flat surface there. So we can move that out, we can take that out. Now this particular model, this is a, a Gateway SX2800 and it has this case that surrounds the DVD drive and it also holds our hard drive. Now we don't have to take the hard drive off or anything. There's two screws. We got one here and we got one here. So all we got to do is just remove those two screws and we can slide out our DVD drive. So I'll take this one out. Now that we have both of those screws out and we have the connections in the back taken out, same as before, we just give it a little push in the back and it will slide out the front. We can remove the DVD drive and all we have left is our case. Now if we look on the motherboard, we can see where the serial ATA cable connects to the motherboard. Let me go ahead, I'll move this one out of the way. This is for the hard drive. You don't normally have to remove this. I'm just doing this so you can get a better view of what we're looking at here. So we want to take our serial ATA cable, and connect it to the motherboard. And there's only one way that it'll connect. If you have it backwards, it won't even go in. So we have that connected. I'll go ahead and reconnect the motherboard or the, the hard drive to the motherboard which you know, if you're just changing out your DVD drive you don't have to worry about doing that. So now that you have your new DVD drive 
just want to do the opposite you did when you took it out. You want to slide it in from the front and as you do you want to look at the holes and make sure that the holes line up in the DVD drive like they do in the case. Once you get them lined up you just put your screws in Once you get those screws in and your DVD secure, you can go ahead and get these metal lips, put them on the outside, and kind of let it go in like that. And now, we want to get our power cord, plug that in, our serial ATA cable. Now the only thing left is to put the screws back in the front. There we go. And get the front of the computer. Match it up. Snap it on. case slide it put your screws in the back and you're good to go